What's going on guys? It's OmniArc and today I want to bring you a video talking about some of the things that have been happening since I've been off of YouTube. As you guys obviously know, you know, I, I took like two weeks off of YouTube. I didn't really, I didn't post any videos. I wasn't active on Twitter, like actively posting on Twitter or Instagram or anything. Uh, and in that time, a lot of things actually happened on YouTube. Now, I made a video just now talking about this and it ended up being over 20 minutes long uh, and and I just I I wanted to redo it because I, I want to spend more time on uh, a certain aspect of this video than other things so obviously you guys know all of the Keemstar exposed drama that's been going on lately not only that there's the whole T Martin syndicate CSGO lotto scandal going on uh, that is also currently happening and everybody everybody is making videos either about Keemstar or about T Martin and and all this stuff and I just wanted to give you my opinions on both of these issues uh, and then I wanted to more more importantly focus on the point of this video first off a lot of the things that leafy and uh, Grade A under A said in their respective Keemstar exposed videos were taken out of context. And I know you're probably gonna say, oh my God, how could you support Keemstar? Or, oh my God, you just, you know, he's just playing the victim card or whatever. I've been watching Keemstar for years. A lot of you guys only know him as the host of Drama Alert, but I actually watched his Bad Kids show uh, before he, he okay before Drama Alert he had a show called the Bad Kid Podcast uh, which was basically just a podcast of him Blade and uh, other people and then even before that uh, before like the whole I Fly Line I situation if you guys don't know what that is then you really uh, you're really new to the scene um, but before that situation he had a vlog channel called the Bad Kid Show where him and Blade went around vlogging various adventures that they did they they had like discussions and they went on walks and, and did all this stuff so and even before that I had seen his videos uh, from the Federation of Vassal Gamers uh, I've seen you know streams of his before that so I've been following Keemstar since the beginning I've been following him for a long 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 time and I know uh, he has a super sketchy past he said things that are fucked up he said things that uh, he should and does regret saying uh, and he hasn't always been right you know he's always uh, been the bad kid on YouTube he's always been the one who's been pushing the envelope uh, and being controversial and pretty much pissing everybody off uh, and that's pretty much how he got famous and you know so obviously I know that he's done some pretty fucked up things but it is apparent to me a longtime fan of Keemstar who watch you know when I watch Grade A under his video or Leafy's video I remember a lot of the things that they talked about and it's very clear that they pulled those quotes those audio clips or those DMS or whatever out of context now <clears throat> I'm not saying that Keemstar is an angel and I'm not saying he's not guilty of being a complete asshole at sometimes in his career it's very obvious there's just too much evidence to suggest that everything was out of context but the majority of the things that people are hating on him for are either out of context or just not true it's just that's just how it is you know uh, and if you don't accept that uh, as an actual fact um, then you are mo you're 99 percent of the time you're going to be uh, one of those mob mentality 14 year olds who are just looking to hate on somebody because it's fun so in short all I'm saying is that everybody has stuff in the past that they regret doing everybody has been you know the worst person in a situation you know you you know someone has to take the high ground and, and you know there's sometimes where it's just not gonna be you you know sometimes you're just going to overreact sometimes you have other things going on in your life where you you're just not in a good situation you know and you know there's just it's gonna happen and, and is Keemstar a good person you know what I don't even know maybe he's not but you shouldn't care about his past this much he doesn't deserve this much hate uh, and I'm still gonna keep watching drama alert it doesn't matter to me I don't care what everybody's saying uh, about things that he's done in the past especially when most of them are out of context or not true so you know it doesn't make sense why he's getting so much hate I'm still gonna watch drama alert I still enjoy that uh, channel um, and that's going to you know sound hypocritical in a minute when I talk about something else but just 
just go on YouTube and enjoy what you enjoy. So that's all I want to say about Keemstar. You know, a lot of the stuff is taken out of context or it's a lie. I've been watching him for years now, way longer than most of his current fan base. Uh, and I know uh, he has fucked up things in his past and he's done some shitty things. I already know all this stuff. Nothing of this is new, uh, but you have to look at the facts. You have to look at the whole picture and taking things out of context is not the right way to do it. I'm sure somebody could go back on my channel and take things out of context that I've said to make me look like a bad person. You can do it with literally anybody on the website. So, uh, you know, it doesn't make him a bad person just because he's done certain things out of context. Um, and the things that he really has legitimately done wrong, he's apologized for, he's talked about in videos, he's said he deeply regrets them, uh, and there's nothing more he can do, you know, and, and whether you believe him or not, whether you think he's sincere or not, it doesn't matter. He's done all that he can do in this situation, uh, so just, it doesn't make sense to keep hating on him, just, just drop it. If you don't like Drama Alert, don't watch it, you don't have to dislike Bomb all of his videos. If you do, you're only, you know, giving him more attention, so whatever. Um, if you don't like Keemstar, don't watch him, uh, it's simple as that. Um, you know, factually speaking, he hasn't done as much wrong as people think he has, and he doesn't deserve all the hate. But people with the mob mentality are going to tell me otherwise, and you're probably going to dislike this video, and that's fine, I don't care. Uh, and the other thing I want to talk about is the T. Martin Pro Syndicate situation. Uh, you guys obviously know what is going on here. You know, a million people have made videos about it, uh, and I am definitely, uh, you know, not the first. Basically, they made videos promoting a website called CSGO Lotto or CS Lotto or something like that, um, saying that they, you know, that they were gambling on this website for CSGO skins, uh, and they didn't, like, really disclose that they were the actual owners of the website, and I think uh, that this is a little bit fucked up, but you know, I want to explain why I don't think these two are a part of some grand, you know, uh, scheme to get all of your money. I did see a clip of T. Martin on his T. Martin 2 channel where he said, you know, something along the lines of, oh, I just found this cool site, I've been talking to them on Twitter or whatever about sponsoring a video, blah blah blah, and that's misleading. It's obviously misleading. Uh, I don't know if, if T. Martin and Pro Syndicate purchased CSGO Lotto, uh, or if they just invest in it, or if they built it from the ground up. I don't actually know. Uh, T. Martin, I don't think, has clarified this. I don't think anybody has really clarified this, and that makes a huge difference. Um, if they built this site from the ground up, uh, then clearly that statement is fucked up. You can't say, oh, I just found out about this website, I've been talking to them on Twitter. If you own the website, if you made the website happen, then you can't say something like that. It's very misleading. Even if you say in the description, I own CSGO Lotto, blah, blah, blah. And even if, you know, uh, it's public knowledge who owns the website, you know, you can find out, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can find out who owns websites. It's not that hard. Um, it's very, it's very public information. You know, you can discover who owns a certain domain. Uh, it's not difficult. Anybody can do it. You can Google how to do it. Uh, it's not some tricky thing. You don't have to buy anything. It's public knowledge knowledge but if you start a video by saying oh I just found out about this website it's deceitful however if he made that video before he invested in CSGO Lotto or if before he bought it or whatever the situation is you can't blame him for that now again I don't know for sure so you can correct me in the comments or whatever um, so there are some sketchy things on going on uh, with this quote-unquote scandal obviously you know they should have started the video by saying hey me and Syndicate started this thing, it's called CSGO Lotto, I wanted to show you guys, you know, what we did, uh, what this website looks like, and uh, if you guys want to try it out, you can go ahead. That's what they should have done, you know, unfortunately they didn't do that, and it's making their whole situation look a lot worse. Um, they obviously wish that they had done something like that, but overall, that's what they should have done, and that's not what happened. What I want to mention though, is it's not like this is some evil grand plot to get all of your money. It's very, it's, it's very cynical to think that Syndicate and T. Martin would spend years and years and years of their life to build up a YouTube brand, business, and channel uh, only to exploit the viewers for money in a quick money grab for a CSGO Lotto website. It doesn't make any sense. And the reason it doesn't make any sense is because their entire income, you know, they, they owe their entire livelihood to YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> they've built up their YouTube business for years now. They've spent more time, money, and effort on their YouTube channel than they did on the CSGO website. Uh, and it doesn't make any sense for them to, you know, just blow all of that up, uh, you know, just 
you know throw a grenade at their youtube channel and say fuck all the viewers fuck all the subscribers i'm gonna tell them to go you know spend their money on my gambling website blah 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 it's not like that that makes absolutely no sense in in any sort of sense uh they would be losing more than they would be gaining from doing something like that so i don't think that's what happens um they would be the worst businessmen in the world uh to blow up their youtube channels and you know just completely have everybody hate them just for you know some money on a csgo lottery website and the big part about this is even if they're making a ton of money if they're making boatloads of money off of this website um even if they're even if they're doing well they already make six figures if not seven you know these two they have massive youtube channels they've been huge for a long time they have tons of partnership deals you can just see the kind of cars that t martin drives or buys or the place that he lives in like he's not struggling for money you know he's not uh he's not he's not poor he's not trying to make ends meet uh, he doesn't need you know all this extra money um obviously it's his business and he wants it to succeed and you know he's going to do whatever he can to make it profitable and making a video about it would make it more profitable makes sense obviously he wants his business to succeed uh, but he's not going to be you know he's not going to think solely on money because he already has a ton of it so why would he blow up his his youtube business and ruin his career uh for money that he doesn't actually really need you know uh, it's stupid to think that way yes there's some gray areas yes they should have been more clear but don't think that they're these bad guys these evil people just coming to get your money because that doesn't make any sense uh and i'm and i'm not even and i'm not even a huge fan of them i don't even watch syndicate's videos uh, i only rarely watch t martin's videos um you know but it's just I, i'm a business major in college like it no one these people in their position they would not do that it doesn't make any sense uh so just trust me in that they're not being evil looking to just grab 13 year old people's money obviously you can't gamble if you're under 18 if you and if you did uh then you're breaking the law it's not their fault so they clearly state that plus it's against the law just naturally in the united states uh so yeah i know they have lawyers behind it I, they wouldn't have started a gambling website like this if they didn't have bulletproof uh, a bulletproof legal team uh, and legal documents proving that they are operating uh, legally so i don't think that there's going to be any uh you know i don't know who knows who knows what happens who knows but honestly they probably thought all this through they probably suspected something like this uh and i don't think that they're really in that much of the wrong here um like i said there are gray areas and they should have been more clear but overall they're not trying to just steal your money uh that's stupid and they would be ruining their own business and they would be shooting themselves in the foot and doing more damage than good so it wouldn't be worth it at all you know this video might end up being 20 minutes anyway, but I like this this take better, so fuck it, I'm gonna just keep talking. The last thing I wanna talk about is all the drama on YouTube. I just... Okay, so throughout my life, I've watched YouTube more than I've watched television shows. I watch it more than I watch Netflix and, and TV and movies and anything. I've always watched YouTube. Since it came out, I've watched it more than television. I watched Wings of Redemption and X Jaws. I would watch them after school and instead of, uh, you know, any show on TV. I've always come to YouTube as an escape from life, as, as a way to go, a place to look for entertainment to distract me from whatever's going on, you know? People's lives sometimes are really shitty. You know, you, you go through things in life that are really difficult to handle, you know, uh, really painful things just physically or emotionally. Uh, people have parents or, or family members who are in bad health. Some people struggle with poverty or, or uh, you know, just diseases or something. You know, there's so many different things that are just really awful in life. Uh, and a place like YouTube is where I would go personally to get away from the shit that happens, you know, uh, and, and, you know, to see <clears throat> YouTube turn into this drama machine where everybody is posting a video about drama and everybody's trying to tear somebody else down just for views and everybody's trying to capitalize on the newest, uh, you know, hate trend and everybody's jumping on hate bandwagons and it's spreading over to Twitter and it's spreading over to Instagram and everything. Uh, and I just, I fucking hate it so much. And I know, like I said earlier, I'm going to keep watching drama alert. I'm going to keep watching those channels. But can we please just leave the drama to them? Can we just leave the drama to Drama Alert, Scarce, Ty, fucking white boy if he wants to do it? I don't know. And I know that sounds hypocritical because I'm making a video about drama right now. I totally get it. But 
I'm just tired of it, dude. I'm just tired of the way that this site has gotten so negative. Uh, it's just so cynical and so depressing and people are just constantly hating on people and trying to expose people for their own gain uh, and it just sucks and I don't want to see that. I don't want to come on YouTube uh, and see more negative shit and see more people hating on other people and, and people backstabbing other people and it's just, it's stupid. I'm tired of seeing it. It's not entertaining to me anymore uh, and I know people are doing it just for the clicks, they're doing it just for the views uh, and, it, and, it, and it gets views and that's the problem and people are feeding the beast uh, and it gets bigger and bigger and then here I am a small youtuber making the same type of video and I just I want you guys to remember that YouTube is a place for entertainment and creativity that's what this whole website was based around it's called YouTube it's about you guys you guys can post whatever you want you can get creative you can express your love for a certain hobby or you can teach people how to do things you can educate people uh, you know and there's so many amazing things you can do on YouTube YouTube, and lately it seems like all people want to do is drag people down hate on people bring their channel down and just try and destroy somebody else's career and hard work and I'm just tired of seeing it dude it's just it's the worst thing if this is the this is the worst era of YouTube that I've ever seen you know uh, this by far is the least entertaining least creative and uh, most obnoxious toxic cancerous community that I've seen on YouTube since I've been on this website and that's saying a lot because I've been here since like 2008 or 2007 or something I've been here the whole time so I just like I said I want to come to YouTube as a source of entertainment and to get away from the shit that happens in real life uh, and I can't because I come on YouTube and it's just people exposing everyone or, or, or you know roasting people or hating people or you know it's just it's so toxic and I don't want to see it anymore I'm tired of it um, and, and I don't know what to do besides make this video say hey these people aren't as bad as you're as you're making them out to be so can we please move on that's all I want like can we just please just stop doing that like there's just such a huge lack of creativity on YouTube right now that people are resorting to you know evil means or, or fucked up negative means just to grow their own channel and it really sucks now I'm sure by this point in the video if you're gonna drop a comment you might have dropped it already you might have said hey no fuck Keemstar he's a piece of shit or hey you know T Martin is just great he's just a money whore he's just doing it for the money you know maybe you already dropped a comment like that and that's fine if you want to input your opinion I can't stop you you can do whatever you want but if you want to drop a comment tell me where you want to travel to I want to hear where you want to go in life where do you want to visit the pyramids or the Grand Canyon or do you want to go cliff jumping or, or see you know Niagara Falls or go to a beach or go to some other country or Japan or Mexico or something like tell me in the comment section below where do you aspire to travel or do you not want to travel at all do you love where you grew up do you not want to go anywhere I just want to talk to you guys let's be more positive if we can be in the comment section talking about our dream vacations or our dream place to live or whatever that would be way cooler than debating more of this bullshit toxic drama if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like i would really really appreciate that subscribe to my channel down below or whatever or wherever it is on mobile if you want to see more videos from me uh and that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching this has been on the arc and i will talk to you guys soon peace